Robert French. This oh, is oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay, so Robert French again at French's Farms. We're back here on October the 11th, and uh, we're showing you this moringa that was uh, sown on June the 1st. And uh, so this is four months, 11 days. A minute ago, we showed you the uh, uh, stuff I had planted on my grape vines, which is superb organic soil. This soil is inferior. Uh, this isn't particularly good soil, but you can still see this is my tallest one here. And this is my pole, it's 12 foot nine, 12 feet nine inches. So this is probably about 10 feet tall here. And uh, you can see, this is where I, I topped it the first time there. And uh, I topped it the second time there. So that it's had, it's been topped a couple of times. And uh, yet it's about 10 feet tall. Now if you back up and just see uh, the rest of it, that's, that's the tallest one in here. Here's a pretty tall one. Um, so you can see this one's probably close to nine feet tall and uh, well this is 12 foot nine so yeah that's probably about uh, eight foot nine inches tall and uh, so it did real well and um, what I have found about Moringa is that it, it, uh, it nauseates me uh, so I can't eat as much of it as I used to um, I just get nauseated. It's it's really rich in vitamins and minerals, but I can't eat that much of it. So I'm glad that uh, the collards are back now, and I'll be eating my collards. And uh, it certainly has a good place in my diet, but I can't eat as much as I would like. Uh, there is a way to uh, to eat it so that it doesn't make you very nauseated, and that is to take the uh, the beta nine HCl, which is hydrochloric acid. It's basically pharmaceutical grade hydrochloric acid and mix some of that with uh, uh, the powder and the water and mix that up and then let it sit and then uh, drink it through a straw so it doesn't hurt your teeth. And when I do that, I get an amazing rush of energy. So, but that's basically it uh, for this year. We might do one more video on this uh, batch before frost, which is usually in about one month from now. And uh, Moringa starts to defoliate at about 43 degrees Fahrenheit so before frost it will start to defoliate but uh, I thank my cameraman for being patient this year with me and uh, uh, we'll be continuing to grow this in the future and I'm about to also grow uh, Polonia uh, Fortunae or and Polonia uh, Tematosa which uh, is the fastest growing tree on earth I'm going to grow it for shade for my house uh, because HVAC prices are ridiculous. It gets very hot in the summer here, and so I'm going to be uh, not using air conditioning. I'm going to be using a, a whole house fan with shade trees around the house. So that'll be a new series that we're going to do after this. So until then, Robert French, health to your health, Moringa, North Carolina. Bye.